All right, welcome back to another video, guys. 25-year-old Ryan Garcia just recently won his fight with uh, Devin Haney. And congrats to him. That was a crazy fight. I was not expecting Devin to get beat that badly. That was surprising. And I honestly didn't have my money on Ryan because he just seemed out of it, like, lately, leading up to the fight. He got the whole, you know, the cocaine addictions, the, dr the drug... No, the cocaine addiction accusation, the drug accusations as well, the drinking... And then, you know, the whole kidnapping and child trafficking conspiracy theories that he said on his IG. But um, he just confirmed on Patrick Bet David's podcast that that whole thing was a lie and it was fake. And yeah, the whole thing was fake and it was a marketing ploy leading up to the fight. And <clears throat> and he said he just got the idea out of nowhere and committed to it, which is wild to say. Here's the tip. You trolled the entire world with the fight <laughs> yeah, so was this was this all an act what yeah. part of it was real tell us about it uh i mean my my cameraman chance ajay's there um hey we have a pre-recorded months ago what i say it was gonna happen i said i'm about to make sure everybody thinks i'm gonna go crazy <laughs> i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that why wow, is gonna be the call the great escape like i have it all documented i was already playing it uh, you know weeks and weeks and months behind uh just, i don't know what made me come up with the idea honestly i just uh one day just decided just to go all in and just commit to a plan that i had and i was not going to budge for nobody i didn't matter if i went on his podcast anybody's podcast i was acting like sporadic like just like crazy i would go on your manner like, was just like spaces i'll like, <laughs> I'll do this with my nose like, <laughs> I saw and like, it's just a tick i had everything like i just like but then you make adjustments too what was real though is um at times i did drink a little bit during camp because uh i like to drink yeah so we got now in one of my videos i had this as one of the reasons as why he could have been doing what he was doing and I still don't really get it. It's for marketing reasons, but I don't. I, I don't get the benefit from it. Uh, firstly, lying about children getting trafficked is crazy. That's not the move, and uh, I guess it's clear that he doesn't really have morals concerning that area. Secondly, I don't see how it was worth it because it's going to negatively impact your reputation, and I don't think it's going to allow for you to develop like a fan base or people that actually like you as a person, uh, because they're not going to respect your character if you're willing to sell out. On your morals, uh, on your morals for marketing reasons, and they'll only be there for entertainment value. Of if you're going to win your boxing match or if you're going to lose, they're not going to be there for you. And uh, finally, I don't doubt that the trafficking doesn't happen with wealthy individuals. I don't doubt that that doesn't occur. And I've seen some groups of people hating on Ryan for the revelation, and some other people saying that the elites got to him and. Uh, he was told to like retract his claims and whatever to cover their tracks or whatever else. But I don't think that's the case. I really think it was just for marketing reasons. Um, I said in the previous video, I don't, it, you know, the elites or whatever we're going to um, try to set something up. They're not going to go for Ryan. I just, I don't think so because he's not that influential of a celebrity. There's so many other celebrities you could go for. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't think that's the case. I don't think, I think it was purely for marketing reasons. And and my problem with that is that supposing someone genuinely experiences this within the celebrity industry, speaking out against it will not be associated with this is fake and everything is for marketing, which is a form of conditioning that I guess whether he realized it or not is happening regardless. And I think that's neg that's negatively impacting and like lessening the chances of people getting help or solutions being found because if pe people are not people are only going to be more and more reluctant to believe in this information if someone actually says it because every time that someone with a big name has spoken out about it they've later said that it was all a lie and it was for marketing reasons or whatever else so it's just you know it's not helping your case at all it's not helping anyone else and it's purely for marketing so it's just helping you so i guess this is just a judge of um well you can just see ryan garcia's character i guess out of this so you see what I'm trying to say? Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought. Um, but yeah, that's it. Peace.